It was an easy win. 28 nothing. At no point in time did I actually feel the Dolphins would come back and make a game of it, even though the score kind of looked like it was a little, it was indicative it was getting closer, but it really wasn't. Uh, Freddie Kitchens is a fucking joke. I mean, he's throwing the ball at the goal line, putting guys in harm's way. There's no point to throw the fucking ball. Run the, you got two of the best running backs, the, the top two running backs in the fucking league, and you got a clock to kill, and you got a team done. Why don't you run the fucking ball, you fat-faced fucking slob and the game's over but no he's trying to get baker if he even says he was trying to get baker another touchdown he needs to be fired immediately there's no point baker had a good game there's no his one bad pass was behind beckham which they have no chemistry for some reason it was a simple throw to a slant for some reason him and beckham they don't have chemistry i don't know what it is beckham had his hands on it tipped it at first i thought it was ah beckham tipped it shouldn't be an interception but it was but it was a bad throw Everything else, Baker pretty much uh, was pretty accurate, except for a couple late in the game when the game was already decided. He made some real good throws. Um, defensively, I mean, we're missing two Pro Bowl players, Ogan Joby and Miles Garrett, and our defense still held down. Our cornerbacks played good, and I thought the officiating. I mean, Mac Wilson made a fucking great tackle, and they caught a fucking uh, personal foul. What the fuck? It was incidental head contact with this fucking helmet. I thought the officiating was pretty bad on both sides. I thought the Dolphins got ripped off a lot. And I thought the Browns, I really thought the Dolphins got hammered a lot on the, uh, there was a play by Jarvis Landry, which should have been offensive pass interference. I thought they got hammered, but that didn't decide the game. What decided the game is the Browns are just a much more superior team. I think Brian Flores coach on the Browns, the Browns would be a playoff team right now. Freddie Kitchen coach on the Browns is struggling to be over 500. On to Pittsburgh. Hey, I see they bench fucking Rudolph about time. Rudolph sucks. If Rudolph was playing that game, they don't score a point. Duck Johnson. He adds a different dimension. He can run a little bit, but he looks like he'll try extending more plays than he should. Being down a Pro Bowl player like Miles Garrett for that game is going to be tough. At least Hogan Joby will be able to play, and he'll be fucking ready. Um, Duck Johnson does make that team a little better. Not much better, but a little better. He's a better group. Mason Rudolph sucks. But, yes, I'd rather see Mason Rudolph than Duck Johnson. But I believe the Browns firmly going to go in there and trench themselves and win something like 34-10. to 10. I think they're going to blow the Steelers out. And I'm packing a bus full of about 800 people going down there with. We're not taking any prisoners. We're going down there, and we're going to win the game. So, talk about the Dolphins. What, what more to be said? I mean, if a regular head coach coached that game, the Browns would have won by 50. By 50. But Freddie Kitchens is a jackass. Driver, I mean, you look at the Browns right now. You, if you look at the Cleveland Browns, right, just think about this. Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, two studs. Beckham, Jarvis Landry, two studs. Um, and Joku didn't play. We have so much talent. Oh, Mayfield, stud. We have so much talent offensively. We shouldn't. We should never be able to be held under forty. But yet some teams do it because Freddie Kitchens is a fucking clown. He's a fucking clown. I'm telling you, he's a fucking clown. But like I say, I'm 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 really confident in Pittsburgh. Really confident because uh, we got a much more physical team and uh, we're just a better team. So, yeah, I feel good about this win. People say, ah, you beat the Dolphins. Hey, same team at Pittsburgh now, 4 to nothing at Pittsburgh. Beat the Dolphins, yeah. You win a game in the NFL. The only problem I have is a little bit too late. I mean, I'd like to be 10-6. Uh, and six will, should get us in the playoffs. It should. But I know we blew about three games earlier in the season. We should have won. Should have won that fucking uh, Seahawks game. We gave that away. Uh, the Broncos game, we gave that away. 49ers game. Callaway sucks. Change the whole outcome. I think they would have probably won anyway. Tennessee Titans game. Weren't ready to play. Freddie Kitchen didn't have the team ready. Other than that, I'm confident. If we go 10-6, and six, if we go 10-6 and six and make the playoffs, I'll give Freddie another chance to coach this team. If we don't, he don't coach it. We need Mike McCarthy or anybody that knows how to coach a fucking football team. This guy is just too, he just wants to be friends with players. He's like a Mike Tomlin to a lesser extent. Mike Tomlin's a better coach than Freddie Kitchens. And that pains me to say because Mike Tomlin's one of the worst coaches in football. But Freddie Kitchens is clueless on what he... He's clueless. So big win today. Five and six. We'll take it. We'll even wreck it up uh, next week at six and six for the final run of the season.